Hey, all right, so it's rant time. It's time for me to rant about the GNOME desktop coming back natively to Ubuntu as the default desktop. This was this was a big story today. Um, almost every single one of my Linux-related feeds was talking about the migration back to uh, GNOME. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and agree with a good portion of the consensus and say it's about time. Um, the GNOME desktop has very much evolved. I'm one of those who actually likes the direction that it's taken. It's got a very professional, very clean look. And the fact that the extensions that you can add to just to customize the absolute, ever, you know, just everything, you know, um, my desktop, a lot of people glance at it and think it's uh, Unity because I have the bar on the side, but that's, that's just an extension that gives me that option. Something that I liked from Unity, even though I didn't like all the things Unity did, I did like that. I think the use of the space, we generally have more wide space than we do top and bottom space. So that was definitely a big benefit for all that. So I'm on board. I, th I, I, I'm sorry that, uh, unity eight and the, uh, confluence thing, confluence, confluence, unity, where they connect the phone and the tablet. I forgot the name of it. I'll probably pop it on the screen somewhere, but that interface just, uh, there hasn't been a good phone or tablet program in a while. I have the Nexus 5. They still don't have a stable build for it. Um, yeah. When I went down to scale um, last month, I did talk to one of the um, guys at the Ubuntu booth, and he told me about how Snaps is going to be kind of where things go, and that makes sense. And he, he talked about bringing Unity as a Snap application. So I'm not going to say Unity's dead, but I understand they're cutting funding for it because that's not where the money is. But, but in the future, it's possible that this Snap system could be what brings back Unity if you want it, that brings you GNOME if you wanted it. I think Snap and Flatpak and all those are programs and tools that could really... Um, I guess kind of change how we package things, you know, build it once runs everywhere. And I'm going to go ahead and say, I think somebody should work on building, um, a flat pack or snap or whatever, um, for Android. I mean, we, it's, it seems a lot smarter to me than you're trying to reinvent the wheel. Uh, Android isn't a brilliant open source operating system. That's Linux based and bringing, uh, applications via snaps to Android or or flat packs or whatever. I'm not. I, I'm. I don't put really one above the other until we see a, a clear defining winner, of course. Um, but that that that's where I see it going. So canonical making good decisions by trying to go back to the community ideas that built open source and make open source great. Um, I hope hope their their pivot and their uh, new direction is actually what takes it. But I do want to point out, and this is very important for me to say, I remember what the Linux landscape was before Canonical made Ubuntu. And it was not as like, I think Canonical really lit a fire under development's butt and really made modern Linux the smooth and slick and easy to use interface it is now that makes it very approachable and very friendly for beginners. Um, and that's uh that's all I will rant on for now.